there stood on top of the roof was Kaokimi. She had seen most of the attack, and she looked like she would join into the battle. Swinging her to axe its head the superhuman waited for a second. He would have noticed the teenager's face looking horrified at what happened to Zoe. If he waited, adrenal in reserves shot in and Spendel 10's brain went into a power high. Altogether, there were 12 men trying to hold him down. I threw them all off with ease, into a pile on the ground. I stood up and slowly walked towards the pile of pure evil, with my hedge trigger at full speed. Those who managed to hang on were grabbed and thrown into T6 the air. As they came down I sliced them into little pieces with bold and guts flying everywhere. Those who tried to jump back on me with a hedge trigger blade to their face. Within half a minute, I had all twelve men, dead and in little pieces, and it served them right. The teenager, who was smart enough to back off, was the only one standing. My eyes shifted back and forth from the superhuman to Zoe, my legs twitching as if I was about to run. I read a teen's body but wasn't fast enough to intercept. The boy dashed forward, grabbed Zoe around the waist, and ran off in the opposite direction. Damn that fracking racist. I cried out loud, taking off after them. For me, running was just as easy as walking, as I like to do parkour and free running. So running was not that hard but I really like to jump and swing and bounce off things. Luckily for me, the teenager was slow because of Zoe. The girl was heavy enough to give anyone problems and she fought against the creep. Suddenly the teenager stopped in his tracks. He set down Zoe, and then twisted around to meet me. The ass reached into his pocket and pulled out a maripai. I slowed and stopped. The knife wasn't a threat to me, my hedge trigger was much bigger and deadlier but the frackwit decided to use the maripai on Zoe. Put the maripai shark tooth knife down, I commanded. And then for good measure, I added, inferior thing. I hawk it held Zoe's fleshy arm by the wrist and the girl struggled against him. He's a superhuman, I hawk a. She yelled. He's human. That's more than I can say about you it's just another one of their tricks. The thing I haka, cried to Zoe. This thing may look human, but it's just another one of their tricks. It has never been human. With that, I realized the evil creature wasn't there to hurt Zoe. He was trying to protect her from me, but why when he's the pure evil? I decided to take a step forward. I haka saw this and raised the maripai. Get back the key. Get back. I am not a pucky, I am a superhuman, and a New Zealander which you are not Max stated, taking another step forward. My name is Max Spendleton, he took another step. I am not in it, another step. And if you don't release Zoe from your sweaty grasp, I'm going to be forced to hurt you and kill you with my chakra blade. I took another step. I hawk it had sweat running down his ugly evil face, looking determined and scared at the same time. I had his hand shook. The Maripai shook and when I got a bit too close for comfort, I Haka attacked, to be continued.